because what happens is when your target line kind of there okay when the ball then starts going on the red line over here you instantly ask oh, my alignment i'll change the alignment now it could be okay i'm not saying it wouldn't yeah. ever be but the moment now as long as you and the, the best way to check your alignment okay get yourself on a golf course set for a target and just put a few clubs on and just see where you point it just get yourself in the right position if you know you're in the right position as you can see in both these cases you pretty much are it's a swing fault now as I said to you, almost I'm going to check this, okay? Is it number one, am I swaying? Number two, am I doing this? Number three, is it a chicken wing? Number four. So you've got like a list of things that you could potentially yes. fall into. You kind of know your faults. I know my faults for the last 30 years. I know what to do. When I do it wrong, I know how to change it. And what to do to try and compensate for it to get the ball around the golf course and then come mm -hmm. back in afterwards. Okay, right, I'm going to work on this now so I get the ball flat back to where I want to, okay? What you were doing, though, is your left arm came through. Backswing wise, is great. You weren't swaying at all. I mean, the back swing was on this one has a really good position there to the top of the back swing. I love that position there. As you came back down, because you were a bit fearful of going right, your path is a little bit to the left. We should, but yeah. if we watch this left elbow now, sort of post impact, it's almost higher than your head. Yeah. And look at that left elbow. And that's sort of yeah. like the ball flight now at this point is about there somewhere. And that left elbow is way up. Okay. You look at this position here now as you come back down. Good angle coming to the golf ball. Club path a little bit across. Great strike. Ball now flies the target. Okay, so where's your left elbow? Where's your left elbow? Where's your left that's elbow? Look at that. That now 50% less. Is, well, it's massively down, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And that's where it needs to be. That's I think that, yeah, what you will find is it won't stay perfectly in because there's probably a little bit of mm -hmm. limitation yeah. as to how much range of motion you've yeah. got. Now, you can just practice that. Again, daft little drill. But it's turning. Oh, yeah. Right now, oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, it. exactly. But and you can see now, you can turn through. And look at that elbow. That and elbow's staying down. That's the proper turn then. Yeah. Look, look at those two, look at those two so, follow throughs there. Yeah. That looks like you've got sort of like a, a oh, shoulder sticker. Should I follow it through? It almost, it almost looks like your body's been cut in half there. That's where your mm. body should be. <laughs> and the elbow's sort of stuck out there. But that that's... now looks much better. And you can see, and again, because you're doing that, you're releasing the club better. You're getting more power. You're actually getting more swish to the golf ball, rather, rather than that this way, basically blocks the golf ball, doesn't it? Like mm. a cricket shot, you do that to try and hit the ball a short distance, yeah. that's going to give you power, okay? So this left elbow doing this is going to give you the power. So a couple of exercises you can practice. Number one, the simple one, put your left arm there and just try and rotate that. Keep it, make sure you don't sort of do this though. You want to stick your elbow into your rib cage there and just move it as far as you can without moving, I mean, again, try and do that almost disciplined as slowly as you can, so you're there, and just okay. moving your hand that far. Nothing else in my body's moving at all. I'm not sort of moving here or moving there. I'm nice and just kind of constantly trying to be in still and doing that. The other one, a bit of strength, get your elbow and your shoulder level, back hold a can of beans, okay? Yeah. And from there now, we're just gonna rock it back this way, as far as you can. Not very really far, we're only talking about three or four inches of movement yeah. there. Kind of beans that'll be quite heavy when you're doing that, okay? Just to get a bit more range of motion in that rotator cuff, because the more that rotator cuff can do this, the more you're able to square the club face up effectively. Mm. If you're having to do that movement, where you're aiming, you've got to aim 30 yards left to try yeah. and block it. So I've been working on this, I'm not going through it, and now I'm turning, and I think I'm Yeah, yeah. Your, I've got to say though, your back swing is like, that's probably the best thing your back swing for a longer time. You're in a really good position there now. Mm. You're now in a position you can transition into the golf ball, hit the golf ball. It's allowing that left arm just to fold as it wants to. We don't want to try and keep the left arm straight. Lining up is okay. Oh, perfect, yeah. Yeah, perfect, yeah. 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 Sometimes that might be an issue you may have, but it's not a problem, okay? So don't worry. Okay, have, have a... And that's the thing sometimes. I think we always need to double check certain things. Yeah. Setup for me is always going to come from a good pre-shot routine. That's the key thing. Have a good pre-shot routine. You can guarantee that's to the most... Yeah, that's exactly, yeah. And things are just... Everything are just sort of folding up naturally there with that left elbow staying down, okay? So practicing but, that. Yeah. Practice that movement there, so you get almost like, it's almost like you're going, your, your arm's like a sort of a wind wiper, yeah. going back and forth that way, okay? Keeping yeah. There. Keeping that left arm in connected. Yeah, but as, as a bad shot, I know it's a bit matty, but as, the information the goal ball was given was square club face. Oh. It's gone straight, isn't it? Yeah. Make sense, though, David? Yeah. Oh, cool. Awesome.